This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Microcap Conference 2017 in New York City. With me right now is Rauf Halim from Spectra 7, publicly traded company. I have two symbols for you, SEV on the TSX and SPVNF on OTC markets. Rauf, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you, Bobby. Good to be here. It's great to have you on. So, for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company and then go from there. Certainly. Well, Spectra 7 is a uh, very unique high-performance analog semiconductor company. We're characterized by addressing some very high growth and ha as well as high margin markets, including AR, VR, and also data center infrastructure. We're based in San Jose, and as you mentioned, we're listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange and on the OTC. So, Rauf, let's, let's start with, I want to also get the history of the company. You know, when did it start and how did it develop to where it's currently at today? Certainly. Well, Spectra 7's roots date back to 2005 and a venture-backed startup in Ireland that was called Redmere. Redmere made very unique active copper cable solutions that were actually sold the, into the retail channel uh, under the Redmere brand. The company then grew rapidly from there and combined with another Toronto-based company, which is how we ended up being listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and from there became Spectra 7 around 2012. So... Tell me a little bit more about the company's, uh, what are some of the competitive advantages that it has versus the competition out there? Well, Spectra 7 has extraordinarily unique and highly patented intellectual property that allows us to extend the range of active copper cable interconnects to improve their performance, to make them dramatically lighter and thinner for a whole host of applications. Primary amongst those is virtual reality or VR, augmented reality, mixed reality, and then increasingly with time, the data center infrastructure, which is a true goldmine of opportunity for Spectra 7. So tell me a little bit about the competitive landscape as well. You know, who is your competition? What's it like out there? Well, you know, Bobby, we have a huge lead in the market. Today, we are essentially single-sourced and providing some of the, the, the most leading OEMs in the industry. Um, it, technology that allows them to connect their systems. For instance, Oculus, Facebook is one, HTC, and many other OEMs, leading OEMs in the industry. Uh, we're, we've got at least a five-year lead on our competitors, and today, we're virtually uncontested. So, I also want to touch on, you know, for those who don't know, you know, how does your company's technology work? You know, what, where is it fit into this, this whole uh, arena? Certainly. So our technology basically is embedded at either end of a copper cable that, that is providing the interconnect between different parts of a system. So for example, a virtual reality head-mounted display that one might wear that needs to then connect to a high-performance laptop. That's where you'd find uh, a very high-performance copper cable to enable the kind of speeds, uh, feeds, and low weight that are required in that kind of a product. Uh, our technology is embedded on either end of the copper cable. It allows us to uh, pioneer a whole new category called active copper cable, where active is enabled by the electronics on either end of the couple cable conductor. So that's, if you will, where we live. We have very unique high-performance analog technology that is embedded at either end of that active copper cable to enable the data rate, the connectivity, and the lightweight of the cable. And what's your background? How, how did you get into all this? Certainly. Well, uh, originally I'm an electrical engineer by training. Uh, I've been in the semiconductor industry now for 32 years of my life. Prior to Spectra 7, uh, I was CEO of MindSpeed Technologies, which was NASDAQ listed for a decade. And when I sold that company, I did a couple years stint with a startup. And then after that, I joined Spectra 7 just about a year ago. Been a great experience. And what are some of the growth drivers for the business? Well, you know, we look at, at connectivity in general, and it's constantly moving up in speeds and feeds. So the, the primary driver for Spectra 7 is the adoption of higher rate connectivity and higher data rates within VR, within AR, within the data center, and many other new markets that we're now pioneering. So it's all about going faster and faster. We are at the core of enabling that to happen. And where can our audience go and find more information about Spectra 7? Oh, Spectra7.com. Thank you. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Microcap Conference 2017 in New York City. With me again is Rauf Halim from Spectra 7, publicly traded company with the symbol SEV on the TSX and SPVNF on the OTC markets. Rauf, thank you very much Bobby, for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.